Let's talk about dog, guys. I just got off, I just got off the phone with somebody that uh, seems to be a nice person, really not a bad guy. The guy just, just talking to me and said, you know, I want to get one of your dogs. But the guy has many dogs, maybe four or five dogs, different bloodlines. And he said, I want to have some of the stuff you got in my yard. And I said, I can't help you. I cannot help you get one of my dogs. He said, why not? And I said, because I don't work with breeders. You see, my dream was to have one dog, just own one dog, and make sure that the dog is the best dog in the world. Just the dog came from the best male, from the best mother, from the best journey, from the best group of dogs, from the best family of dogs, something that I can hold in my hands and look at the dog and say, wow, Jesus, this is the best of it. And then the behavior of the dog, where the dog has specific characteristics that were created through the process of selection where the brand man that work with the dogs will give me a dog that bar none is better than anybody else's dogs. And for me, that was fundamental. I wanted to get that so bad. Yet in the 1990s, every man, there was not a man head and shoulders above everybody. They all had a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some defects here, some defects that. Some guys had a tremendous advertising, but they were, they had whack bloodlines. Some guys had dogs that were mixed sometimes you know with with the wrong bloodlines and so on and so forth so having the right dog from the right man is the most important thing so we started talking with this guy right so we're talking we're talking and the more we talk he started to understand like man really this guy makes a lot of sense you know i spent 20 30 40 years having 20 30 40 dogs and i haven't accomplished nothing and I said, what, there, what, what is there to accomplish? Are you, are you in the dogs because you like the, the everybody that the, is in the dogs talking, the cancer, the community, where you waste your time and you cannot go forward in life because you, you want to have something to represent in the community, which is called the swamp, they call it the game. And he understood, he's like, man, you know, you make sense, really. You know, you, you do, you're doing the same thing you were doing 10 years ago, am I correct? He said, yeah. The people got worse. Yeah, the people got worse. So you got worse people. You got water than dogs. The best men left the breed. And here I am, separate from everybody, not working with anybody else. I created my own line. I created my own dogs. I created my own brand, my own bloodline. Traveling the whole planet, East Coast, West Coast, Canada, United States, Mexico, Brazil, all over the, in the world, Asia. Europe, and I created dogs that have proven to be the best American people terriers in the world. And they have proven to be the best pets because I always bred my dogs as pets. Being a pet was always at the center of my breeding program. And so I have dogs that are friendly, that offer a great time for the families, that offer a superior quality to the families, Dogs that when you had a dog before that you call Pitbull, you are like, I had a dog, I like him, but yeah, he was like a regular dog, to be honest with you. He would have been as good as a German Shepherd or whatever. But this dog is different. This dog looks at me in the eye. This dog kind of want to know what I'm thinking. This dog had to know how to measure my energy. This know how to connect with me. This dog gives me emotional support. It gives me spiritual support. It's like an extension of me. It's like the better of me, you know, has courage, all this stuff. One dog, just one dog. And for most of those guys out there, it's very difficult to, to unsubscribe, to say no to owning everything they know and everything they feed, which are feeding means the dogs they have right now, is actually worse. And so, it is terrible for them. Yet I feel great about the guys that actually own my dogs. Because the guys that actually own my dogs, they are a successful story. They're a very successful story. They they buy a dog, they have high level of expectations because because of me, because of this channel, because of all the stuff. But when they get the dog, they expect to get everything that I'm that I'm talking about. And none of a sudden realize that no matter how much Chico try to, you know, stack up the quality of his dogs, the dogs actually are better than what he says. It's incredible. 
So they always say, Chico, the guy, dog I got from you, exceeded all my expectations. I really got a great dog from you, Chico Lopez. Thank you so much, I really love my dog. It is the best dog, it is my best friend. And that's what life is about. Pursuing the best dog in the world. That was what I wanted to do. And it became true in multiple dogs. But I am the guy that makes the dreams come true for those who are looking for the one great dog for themselves. I make that dream come true for many guys. They don't have to get their hands dirty with the swamp. They don't have to go out there and deal with the thugs, with the low lives, with the criminals, and try to rescue some dogs from the swamp and then, you know, make it. No, it's, it's incredible. I save them their time. I provide them with a service that is incredible, something that I wanted for myself. And so today I get to, to feed these beautiful puppies that I breed, and I'm able to provide great families with great dogs, but at the same time, I'm an educator. I love to educate people. I love to make you think. I love to you know, get your gears going and let you take a look at what I do and take a look at what anybody else does. And you run into your own conclusions. I'm not telling you just listen to me. No, go ahead. You know, if you're stupid, I can't force you to listen to me only. So I have to let you, you know, I ask you to listen to what I say, but let you go listen to whoever you want to listen to. Get to your conclusions. The smart people always find a way to get to the best. And the people that are not so smart, you can't force them. You, you can't make a, a horse uh, drink the water. So I tell you something, guys. You're gonna get in life what you work for. You're gonna get in life what you work for. And here I am, you know, 50 plus years old, and I've been working with these dogs for 34 years. 34 years. There's pictures and videos of me all over the world. Canada, Brazil, United States, East Coast, West Coast, China, Russia, Ukraine, Italy, Spain, Germany, all over. Thailand, Indonesia. You mentioned that I've been there. And so today I protect the American Pit Bull Terrier. I developed the best of the American Pit Bull Terrier. And I protect it from breeders. I protect it from kennels. When they hear the word breeder and I hear the word kennel, I know it's a failure because they all subscribe to the same culture. And it's going to be one out of ten different cultures. Either the stupid Excel, the mutants, or some game dog, some BS guy, he's lost. And they always compare themselves to the worst. And that's why they always lost. My name is Chico Lopez, and I just made this video because I wanted to make you think. I want to make you think. I want to make you to use your head. And I'm going to listen to you. Put your comments below. I read the comments. And uh, visit my website, 123peoples.com, therealpeople.com. My number is 806-500-5552. Check out my colors. I make the best colors in the world. Chico Lopez, your friend, friend of the breed. God bless you.